Hey, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. I am happy to say that I am doing yet another video. Looks like we're going to get a little release schedule going on here. So, just to get to the point, this video is actually in response to another YouTube creator, Joe Barreto. He is a bilingual English and Spanish speaking creator that is doing some good things, has a good following and everything on the platform. So apparently a month ago, he mentioned me, I was going through comments and things like that because I kind of been out of the mix for a little bit because you know life happens. And I realized that he actually asked people to participate in somewhat of a challenge, basically a question that was asked on a post and this is my response. So before I get to that response, you already know what needs to happen. So cue my co-star. Welcome back to my dad's channel. If you're new here, make sure to click that like button and subscribe and don't forget to share. The question that he posed in the post was, what is one card that you still want or what is one card that you would keep above all other. Now, as far as I'm concerned, that's a no brainer for me. I'm not going to do the either or I might as well answer both questions. I'm not going to hold you guys here for a long time, but let's just get right to the meat and potatoes. And that being what is one card that I want? I am a huge fan of thinking big and what gets bigger than the big boy, the black card. The Amex Centurion card. So now most people wouldn't name this because they just want to be realistic. But as far as I'm concerned, the sky's the limit because the limit is not the sky. So for me, what is one card I want, I will always want is the black card. Okay, you can accuse me of chasing status. Yeah, period. It's an invitation only card. Me and the wife get them. That's 20,000 in the first year, 10,000 every Subsequent year as authorized users are $5,000 a piece. I would love to have the kind of disposable funds that allows me to have that card. So you can call it the Delta Diamond membership. Uh, you can call it the Hilton Diamond membership. A lot of diamonds going on. And you, you know what I mean? You can, you know, give me the $1,000 a year SACS credit and all the other benefits rolled up in a card membership. Look, I don't care what people think of me because once you have that card, you have arrived at a strata where you are definitely living comfortable, period, point blank. Well, actually, you're not living comfortable. You are living great. So yeah, definitely the Amex Centurion card is one card I will always want, always and forever. Its exclusivity just draws me in. I can't lie. I'm not going to even church it up for you. I just want it because I want it. I want it because I can't have it. And I want it because not a lot of people have it. So congrats to the Amex marketing team that actually doesn't really market the card. Well, okay. Well, well, that's not going to age well, but it is what it is. That's the one I want. So the other question is, what is the one card I would keep above all others in my wallet? And I can guarantee you that out of my 30 plus cards, I don't know if you guys would guess the right one. I know which one you think it might be, but frankly, let me not leave you in suspense. It would be my gold card, my Amex gold card. It is a points generating machine. If I could only have one out of my collection and all the rest had to go, that is the one I'm keeping. That's it. Because look, I work in an office, so I... I buy lunch every day. Everybody gives me the money back. So literally this card earns me anywhere between four and 500 points every day. Not one day, every day, five days a week. And that's just literally just their stuff. I haven't fed myself. I haven't uh, gone to the grocery store or anything. That's just order and take out for the office. So without a doubt, I've actually also done a video about my first year experience with the gold card, which I'll link here. And it's just, it's a monster. It is a beast as far as earning points. Now there is competition from the saver cards, but I normally don't report on cards that I don't have. And I do not have a saver card to be able to tell you if it really has competition. But the thing is you get a little bit of a lower, um, multiplier for the no annual fee version. If I recall correctly, I think it's actually comparable at Forex for the $95 version. I could be wrong. I should have researched it, but I just wanted to make sure I answered Joe's call 
for people to name their cards. So that is another reason why I would keep that card amongst all others. Next thing is that it's, it's, it's an Amex Gold card. It's going to earn MR points. It's going to keep me in that ecosystem that I get fantastic redemption rates for. So that is another reason I would keep it. Yeah, the $250 annual fee is a bit much, but I don't have a problem using the Uber credits and the, and the meal credits because remember, I order food for the office. And even if I don't, at least I'll take one, at least one day, I'll take my meal for free. You know, that's 10, bu 10 bucks a month, basically 20 bucks a month for free that I can use and, you know, claw back some of that value. So those are my answers to the questions that Joe posed. And I would hope that other creators, because literally I don't do this very often, but I would hope other creators would be inspired to do the same. So how about this? As a matter of fact, I will do something that I normally don't do. I'm actually going to call out a creator and you already know is my main man, Anthony Venture. Why don't you tell me which card do you want and which card would you just give it all up for? So I hope you answer that. Joe, I'm sorry it took me so long to respond to this. I hope all is well. I love what you're doing with your channel. And that is about it. I'm not even going to do the pointy thing where I try to keep people on my page because I definitely want them to refer back to your page. And hopefully we can get more people to participate in this. But until next time, I'll catch you later.